in the good old Drupal 6 days, when you had to store an address and have that address converted into a longitude and latitude, you would use the location module. If you wanted to display a Google map on your website, you would use the GMAP module. In Drupal 7, the landscape has changed. And now you have a lot more options than just using the location module. A lot of the functionality that the location module gives you can be found in four separate modules. Address field, geo field, geo PHP, and geocoder. Address field allows you to store postal addresses. Geo field allows you to store geographical data in a number of formats like longitude and latitude. GeoPHP provides Drupal integration with the GeoPHP library and GeoCoder. This module is used to convert a postal address into geographical coordinates. In this video, I'll show you how to set up the modules mentioned to allow users to enter in an address and then have a map displaying the location of the address. You may think that installing four modules to handle addresses and locations is a bit too much. This method gives you some flexibility. Let's say, for now, you only need to store addresses, but in the future, you may want to store coordinates as well, like a longitude and latitude. Then, just set up address field to handle addresses for now, and geofield later. Before we get started, there are a few modules we need to download. Go download and install the following modules, address field, geofield, geophp, and geocoder. You'll also need to download C tools for address field and geocoder. Now that we have downloaded and installed all the required modules, let's go ahead and set up our fields. For this video, I have created a content type called Venue, which I will use throughout this video. But you can use article or your own content type. Go to structure, then content types, and click on the manage fields link on a specific content type. Enter address into the label field, Venue address into the machine name field. Select postal address from the field type dropdown and dynamic address form from the widget dropdown. Click on the save field settings button. Configure the address field if you need to. Then click on save settings to return to the manage fields page. The address field that we just created will be used to store a postal address. The next field we'll create will store the coordinates for the entered postal address. We'll use the geofield module for this field. So enter in location as a label, venue underscore location as the machine name, select geofield from the field type dropdown list, and geocode from another field as the widget, and then click on save, and click on save field settings. Change the geocode from field dropdown to address. Scroll to the bottom and click on save settings. Now that we have everything set up, let's test the fields. Go to content, then add content, and I'll click on venue. And enter in a proper address. Then click on save. So how does this all work? First, the address field is used to store an address, and that's it. The magic happens with the geo field and geocoder. When we created the field, we used a widget called geocode from another field. When you create a piece of content with an address, geo field grabs the address from the address field and uses the geocoder module to convert the address into longitude and latitude coordinates and stores the coordinates in the location field that we just created. In the next part, we'll use the coordinates to display a map via a field formatter.
Currently the location field is just displaying coordinates. That's a bit useless. Let's display a map interface instead. Geofield ships with a submodule called Geofield Map. This submodule allows you to display a map via a field formatter. So go ahead and enable the module. Once enabled, go to Structure, then Content Types, and click on Manage Displays. Select Geofield Map from the Format dropdown and click on Save. You can configure the formatter by clicking on the cogwheel. In the formatter settings, you can adjust a bunch of stuff like width, height, zoom level, map type, and more. Now, if we go back to our content page, we should see a map. And there you go.